We are at the Danube Biosphere Reserve in Ukraine in the delta of the three small rivers Kogilnik, Kagajka and Sarata. As most of the small rivers in the northern Black Sea coast, these rivers were canalized and actually destroyed in the Soviet era. They were straightened, they were deepened, all the floodplain along these rivers was used for agriculture. That was part of the Soviet policy in the 20th centuries after the war and famine especially. Nowadays we see the impact of those policies and activities. Most of these rivers are degraded and there is no more agriculture possible in these degraded areas. The land is eroded, the meadows that used to be rich and used for grazing of livestock are dry and salinized and the fish and the birds are gone. Several nature conservation organizations in Europe including Rewilding Europe, WWF, World Fish Migration Federation came together and established an initiative called European Dam Removal Initiative that supports this project to remove obsolete dams in Europe. So many obsolete dams in Europe, on average every European river has one dam per kilometre. Within this initiative we have a very interesting mechanism called crowdfunding. If we have a small dam and what we are looking for is a little bit of funding to remove an obsolete dam, we can put this project on crowdfunding. And this is exactly what we've done with this project in Ukraine. And first of all we thank to all the people who supported with their donation this project. Already this year 10 dams were removed and you can see the first results. There's already some water coming to the floodplains of these rivers. But I think most of the results will be visible next year in spring where the flood waters will come in the full scale in the deltas of these rivers and they will be again home for fish, for birds and for mammals. We also hope that the floodplain meadows once restored will be used by local communities again for grazing their cattle will be a very diverse uh, and rich in terms of biodiversity place in the Danube Biosphere Reserve, which we hope will also attract visitors not only to this place but also to communities. So on behalf of the Danube Biosphere Reserve, Rewilding Europe, Rewilding Ukraine, I'd love to thank again all the people who supported this interesting project and we hope that there will be more and more projects like this across the Europe. Thank you.